Hi students, today we will continue our perfect season for dreaming activity. Last week, you listened to a recording of a perfect season for dreaming. Then a few days later, you completed a writing Google Slides where you thought of five things that could fall out of your piñata. Then you completed a colorful chart where you typed in the names of some creatures or animals that could fall out of your piñata. Some of you wrote horses, some of you wrote mermaids or unicorns. So today we are going to come up with adjectives. But before we can continue this activity, we have to find out what adjectives are. And I know that some of you already know what they are. So, before we can talk about what adjectives are, I want us to review what nouns are. And I know that a lot of you already know what nouns are because you learned it in the first grade. So, nouns are a person, a place, a thing, or an animal. So here I have a picture of a woman. She could be a mom. So the mom, she is a person. Okay, so since she's a person, she is a noun. Okay, here I have a picture of a school. A school is a place. Therefore, school is a noun. Here I have a picture of McDonald's. McDonald's is a place, therefore McDonald's is a noun. Here I have a picture of a pencil. A pencil is a thing, therefore a pencil is a noun. And here I have a picture of a turtle. A turtle is an animal, therefore an animal is a noun. Okay? So now that you know what a noun is, now you can think of adjectives. So adjectives are words that describe nouns. So if we come back to our nouns page, we want to describe the noun using an adjective. So an adjective is gonna give us more information about the noun. So how can we describe the mom? So the mom looks worried. So worried gives us more information about the mom. So worried describes the mom, okay? So that's a worried mom. The mom is also very beautiful. So we can say that the mom is beautiful. Beautiful is an adjective, okay? Here we have Black Panther. And Black Panther is a superhero person. So let's describe Black Panther. Black Panther is strong. Black Panther is heroic. Black Panther is tall. Okay, so those are all adjectives to describe Black Panther. Um, let's describe McDonald's. So the McDonald's building is colorful. It's uh, fun, so the fun McDonald's, the colorful McDonald's. If we want to describe the school, the school building is red, it's small. Okay, so those are all adjectives that describe the school. Okay, so I am going to read you this list of adjectives that you can use for your own adjectives list. These are some ideas. You do not have to use these. And I encourage you to come up with your own ad adjectives as well. So here we go. These are all adjectives that could describe a person or an animal, okay? So an, um, a noun can be cheerful. A person can be cheerful, loud, magical, cuddly, creepy, an animal or a person can be 
Ivo, bald, chatty, filthy, like your dog when he plays outside and he's filthy, furry, itchy, clumsy, like always tripping on everything, confused, rowdy, a person or an animal can be rowdy, or polite, shy, giant, somebody that's really tall or really big, grumpy, sleepy, slimy. Okay, these are just some examples. You do not have to use these, but you can if you want. Now it's your turn. So I want you to think back on last week when you completed a similar chart to this. You can use the same animals or creatures that you wrote about last week, or you can come up with your own. Okay, so you can type them here. And on the adjective side, you need to come up with five words to describe those creatures. Okay, so you can say tall, you can say cute or magical, or weird or awesome. Okay, so think of some really good adjectives. Okay, um, and here I have two links. If you want to hear the perfect season for dreaming again, you can click on this link. And here is a video showing what we're going to do once this activity is finished. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you enjoy this activity. Bye.